Hello, so this is Zara Northover coming to you live and direct from my apartment in Michigan. And I have a short message today about the words that I've heard. I had the honor of speaking and participating at the NAACP Freedom Fund Awards Gala yesterday at Eastern Michigan University where I heard a phenomenal speech by Dr. Calvin Mackey who spoke on hope, who spoke on not giving up on the youth, who spoke on el to elders to reach out to youth and to uplift and enrich them in order for them to move forward but come together that we all may move forward together to start creating change, to start achieving dreams and to start living our lives to the fullest and reaching our potential and God's purpose for our life. He gave a phenomenal word that reached out to everyone in that room from four years old to 82 years old and I'm so honored to have met him and I look forward to staying in touch with him. And then today I was invited to a church called El Bethel Church and it's in Redford, Michigan. So this person told me about this church a while ago and I've had the opportunity this today to go and check it out and I'm so glad that I did. It happened to be the pastor, Pastor Lawrence Glass's 22nd year in ministry and they were celebrating him and just to see all the different ministry teams praise and honor and worship their their pastor was was just unbelievable. Those laughs and those moments that they've shared show you really what the church and the church body is really all about. It's about people coming together to change lives, to uplift one another, and for people to come together to honor God and continue to live their purpose-filled life that God has given them. So they sway the whole church, the whole congregation can, can continue to reach out to people all over the nation, all over the world, so we can all be victorious in God's name. Because that's what this life is all about, is about fulfilling your potential, your God-given potential, giving back to Him by giving to others. So this way everyone can be victorious. Because as Ma as Dr. Mackey said, we all have greatness within us. As, Doc as Pastor Glass preached about. He was so humble because he knows that he has been blessed in order to bless others and he knows that he is blessed because he has been surrounded by great people that have come together for God's purpose and he has just helped to minister and guide those groups in order to achieve and to see his, his ministry teams go up there and say that they would take a bullet for this man showed that he has done some great things for these people because people love him and honor him. And one of the guest speakers at this church was Pastor Wallace Mills from New Ebenezer Church and he really just gave a sermon today. You could see that these two men, these two pastors are great friends and they love one another and it was beautiful just to see these two people come together, embrace one another, lead churches and people <sighs> the way that they have. Those types of things just make you realize that God is really working. That that men, women, we're all out there just striving to better not only ourselves but to better one another that we may all come together to be victorious in His name. And that, lead, that being said, the underlying theme I feel like from majority of the messages I heard this weekend, we're not writing people off not giving up on people, not shunning your face, your eyes, um, or just the people that have been in your life that may have not lived up to the potential that you thought they were going to live up to. Because remember, everything happens on God's timing. Not our timing, not my timing, not your timing, but God's timing. So yeah, there are people that have take, gone left instead of right and right instead of left. There are people that ended up in jail. There are people that ended up not necessarily passing their classes and or getting kicked out of school and and not doing so well but those just because they didn't get on the right track from the beginning doesn't mean that we give up on them doesn't mean that they have no hope doesn't mean that life is over it just means that they've gone a different direction and now they have a test testimony to share because their tests have been for their testimonies their stories are going to inspire people because God is, God uses us he doesn't use all extraordinary people. He uses ordinary people and he makes them extraordinary because it's because of their tasks. 
It's because of the things that they've gone through that we are able to see, man, God is, is really an amazing God because he brought this crackhead off the streets and turned him into a successful man. He brought this kid that had an 800 on his SATs that people thought he would not never amount to anything and turned him into a doctor. He brought this man who... Nobody could tell anything was literally sleeping around and hurting women and hurting himself and, and just a disappointment to so many and turned him into a pastor. It was so amazing to see and hear so many different stories of different people around me, different people that spoke at, at functions and events and see how they've all overcome adversity to end up to where they are in their lives today. And sometimes we may say, well, you know, we don't have that much going on in our lives. We didn't make that many mistakes. But you know what? Nobody's sin is greater than the next. So as, as small of a sin from doubting yourself, from not believing yourself, from, from taking a dollar from your mom's purse without saying, telling her, no sin is greater than the next. Therefore, we all have come from a place where we have fallen short of his glory. But it's because of our continuous faith walk where we strive to be better. We strive to live God's purpose for our lives. That is what makes us victorious. That is what changes us. That is what makes us worthy to be given a second chance. That is what makes us worthy to not be written off. And that is what should also remind you to not write anyone else off because we all have made mistakes and we all have so much to ask for forgiveness for and we have so much to be thankful for because God has never written us off and God will never write us off. So I have to thank Dr. Calvin Mackey, Pastor Lawrence Glass, and Pastor Wallace Mills for just sharing their words and inspiring so many youth, young men, women, elders, everyone to come together to know that we serve a magnificent and amazing God who is always going to be there for us. And I thank you all for spreading hope, for spreading faith, for showing love because it's through those three things that this world is changing. It's because we are loving one another and we have hope for better and we are moving in faith that we are able to recognize that God will not and will never give up on us. And therefore, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And we will always be victorious in his name, no matter where we have come from, where we are. As long as we keep our eyes on Christ and we keep pushing forward, then he will always be by our side and he will always see us through. So I hope that reached out to someone. I know it's reached out to me. And God is a good God. So keep on moving in faith. Check out movinginfaith.com. Find Moving in Faith on Facebook and continue to get updates, messages, because God loves us, God loves me, God loves us all, and together by moving in faith, we can ensure that people are motivated and uplifted to achieve their dreams and God's vision for their life. Have a blessed week, and until next time, keep moving in faith. Mwah.